I was coming to find you in the conference room and I heard Nicholas not exactly yelling, but his voice was raised. Okay, I'm so sorry. Look, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. It's just that it sort of caught me off guard, you know, when I heard him talking to you like that, and I was I'm sorry. a little stunned. I'm sorry. I know, I know I just said that, but I don't know no, what else to say. You've been saying it for months, Elizabeth, and now I know why. If you can just keep an open mind and try to understand, just let me... No, I understand that you have nothing to be sorry about. What? It's not your fault that Nicholas decided to betray me by confessing his love for you. I mean, I heard you trying to back him off. I can't believe he would do something like this. I mean, it's horrible, the position that he's put you in. You know what, now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Brothers don't do this kind of stuff to each other. So you're... Only upset with Nicholas because he said he loves me? Yeah. Yeah, that about covers it. How long were you there? Well, after Nicholas professed his love for you, that was enough. I couldn't handle anymore. I mean, I know I could have confronted him right then and there, but I didn't want to embarrass you in front of everyone and cause a scene. How long has this been going on? A while. A while? How come you didn't say anything to me? You don't... You don't share his feelings, right? No. No, of course not. And I didn't... I didn't tell you because... Because I didn't want to be the cause of you and Nicholas being estranged. So this is, this is why he dumped Rebecca, because he wants you. That son of a bitch. Betraying Cassidine no, bastard. Please don't say that. Don't defend him, Elizabeth. He knew exactly what he was doing. I'm not defending him. I'm just, I'm going to try to explain. Whatever feelings Nicholas has for me, it isn't, it isn't love. It's another way for him to feel closer to Emily. Emily has been dead for two years. How long are we going to use her death to justify Nicholas's screwed up behavior? I guess I empathize because when I thought I lost you in the fire, I turned to Jason. The situations aren't even remotely the same. You thought I was dead. It was natural for you to turn to someone else. And Jason's not my brother. It certainly makes hindsight a lot clearer. What do you mean? Oh, my dad, for instance, and he's been really hostile towards Nicholas lately. You know, he probably picked up on on Nicholas's feelings for you. He kept trying to warn me. He was, he was insinuating all these things, but he would never get specific, so I just basically told him to shut up and mind his own business. And it sheds new light on you. You know, the conflict, the tears, the how awkward you get whenever Nicholas is around. Elizabeth, I really wish that you just said something to me. I know, and I'm sorry that I handled the situation so poorly. I, I wanted to no, no, tell I, you... I, you wanted to keep peace between me and my brother. I know. I, I don't see how that's going to be possible at this point. But honey, Nicholas and I settled everything. Okay, because he knows, he knows that I love you, and then I want to marry you, and then we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. And I know it's asking a lot for you to forget what you heard. Maybe if you could just let it go and not confront Nicholas. I don't know if I can promise that. I'm sorry. I mean, there's still a lot I need to wrap my head around. But, you know, it could be worse. You could love Nicholas back. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Detective Spencer. Yeah, it's Dominic. You need to see me ASAP. It's about Lulu. We need to talk. <laughs> no, no thanks. I still got tire tracks across my back from our last conversation, unless you're here to finally admit how you feel about Stop me. Stop it. 
Mikey was at the hospital this afternoon. He heard us talking. Good. Hey. Hey. The warehouse on First Street near the docks just exploded. Corinthos property. Fatalities? There's not even injuries. So what the hell is this place? Franco's workshop. Chock full of goodies. Explosive devices in here to send Lulu and Sam and whatever two buildings they're in to Kingdom Come. If he suspects he's being tracked or sees his mug shot on the news, yeah. this guy could just decide to say forget it and blow them up anyway just to torture Jason one last time and head out. Never to be seen or heard from again. We both know how good at disappearing this guy can be. I want this bastard. Yeah, I do too, but we have to make sure that whatever we do doesn't make this whole thing backfire. Okay, what are you thinking? In order for us to find Lulu and Sam, we have to keep this guy in town. We have to make sure he stays interested. We gotta keep this game with Jason going. How can you call Lucky over here? He is good. Because if he knows we're sleeping together, well, maybe we can stop this charade. All he heard was you claiming to be infatuated. See, there you, there you go again, constantly diminishing us. I'm not infatuated with you, I'm in love with you. Did he confront you about that? I wouldn't exactly call it a confrontation because he thinks the feelings are very one-sided and I let him <sighs> believe that. Oh, that's a nice way to stand up. I'm not gonna blow apart my life for anyone. And I'm going to lie until the day I die to preserve our relationship. You say you love me? You know I love you. Then you'll lie too. You'll say whatever it takes to make things right with Lucky because I know you don't want to lose Elizabeth, him either. Elizabeth, all the lies in the world isn't going to change what we feel for each other. So you go ahead. You go ahead and deny it all you want. You marry Lucky, you buy that house, you have a nice life. But you and I will always know that I love you and you love me.